So today I did the impossible. I traveled back in time. Well, actually I just installed another version of Astroneer. But this version of Astroneer is from 2016. Nearly seven years have passed since this version dropped and I'm willing to bet more has changed over time than most of you realize, myself included. Because yes, I'm going in blind on this one as well. I don't really know what this version was like, so we're about to find out together. Like, right now. Now I know what you guys are thinking. World class jerk. Aren't you supposed to be an Astroneer pro veteran champion who knows everything about the game? And the answer is yes, but this doesn't exactly apply to the 2016 version. You see, I got the game in 2017, not too long after the beta version I'll be playing today, however my memory of things is exceptionally bad. Another thing to keep in mind is that nearly all of my videos up until this point have been scripted, like this one was scripted, and this one was scripted, and this one was scripted, uh, this one wasn't, but that's why it sucked. Point being, I'm not used to going in blind and not knowing precisely what's going on and exactly what to say, so this is going going to be double scary for me. So it was time for me to start my epic journey into the past, but I needed a proper go in order to guide my actions to a sensible conclusion, and I had just the thing in mind. You see, in old Astroneer there was this crafting station called the Fuel Condenser. The Fuel Condenser allowed you to craft Hydrazine, a fairly valuable resource, out of literally nothing. This was overpowered because there was another station in the game, the Trading Platform, which allowed you to trade any item for any item, meaning infinite Hydrazine was infinite everything. In other words, if I could unlock the Fuel Condenser, it would be a permanent game changer to say the very very least. So with all that in mind, let's begin. But yes, it looks like back in the day, this is indeed how you selected your character, so I'm gonna be the fat guy because being fat is funny. And right off the bat here, it is very evident that the world generation back in the day was wildly different from what it is now. I mean, this is like, this doesn't even look like the same planet whatsoever. Not even the clouds are the same, so... Don't really know what this is going to be like. Ah, oh, but yes, one thing I do remember is that instead of expanding by placing, say, a platform and some power cables like we do nowadays, you would have the uh, camera from War of the Worlds. Now, based off common sense and what I'm seeing, you know, right here, the early game's probably about the same. I need to get me some resin and compound. And so far, that seems basically the same, and it looks the same, except it's a little sun bleached, I guess you could say, and the terraforming looks like garbage. It's like 10 FPS looking or something, I don't know. Oh, uh, there we go, though. Now I'm basically rich. I have three resin and I think three comp- where's the compound? Oh, I only had two compound, and now both of those are solar panels, so I guess I'm not as rich as I thought, because I'm also out of resin now, so there's that. Guys, I, I think there's something over there. I, I think it's- oh my goodness! What a lovely piece of advice the universe just threw our way. But my first idea is to just keep on expanding the base by means of resin, just like this. So I can have a bunch of platforms lined up beside each other. You see this? This right here is thinking ahead. It's not something I'm accustomed to, but it's pretty nice. And so now I've got basically the best base ever made. I'm just going to go see what caves are like, because that sounds like a good idea. Which means I can properly get down to business. Now my assumption is that there's nothing different from the way things used to be and the way things are now in Astroneer with regards to getting research. Like, I bet if I remove this, yeah, there's going to be a research sample underneath. Uh, however, if I'm not mistaken, way back in the day, you know, like this version I'm playing right now, you don't actually get bites when you research something, it just like randomly researches a random item in the game and unlocks it. And I'm absolutely correct, it just randomly went through a bunch of things and decided I was going to have the trade platform unlocked, which I could see how that would be really annoying if you was trying to get something very specific. So in order to unlock the fuel condenser, I needed to gather research samples and research them until I was lucky enough to unlock it with one. So me being the epic son of a gun I am, I decided the best way to do this would be to craft a shuttle and go to a different planet to get research instead. Little did I know, however, this was the greatest mistake I ever made in my entire life. Oh shoot, is this like, is this the infamous storms? Yes, you see, I haven't heard that sound in years because uh, they got rid of them because everybody hated storms, but even though everybody hated storms, myself included, I think maybe they should have kept them in the game because actually they're like the only threat that came after you. Oh yeah, also I just realized that the first storm, it, it got rid of my hydrazine that I had before, but I have the other hydrazine now, so that's okay. So for those of you who don't know, hydrazine is what you use as fuel for space shuttles in this game. So in other words, the storm shorted me on rocket fuel. But so I'm not gonna lie, given that I've been playing for over an hour now, I don't really have a whole lot to show for. I've got a rover I didn't use and another rover that I still haven't used, but it's bigger, so I guess that's cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of impatient right now, so I'm actually just gonna go for the blast off like right now. And so I don't know how many plants there are. It wouldn't really surprise me if the only thing that exists is just like the moon, so... 
There's that. And you actually cannot go to those, actually. Oh, no, see, it's, it has to be in the circle. I get it, because I just now could go there, but it went out of the circle, so I can't go there anymore, which is really aggravating, because that's, that's that's where I wanted to go. I didn't want to go to the moon. Who wants to go to the freaking moon? But yes, my friends, here we are landing on the moon, and this is, this is, uh, well, that's what's happening. We're landing on the moon, but I didn't bring resin, so that's, is that an issue, or is that an issue? Because I, I see nothing. There simply does not exist a single, like, resin deposit in this entire planet that's not good so i've got compound instead of resin meaning i'm not going to be able to expand the base but i will be able to do the tethers which means i can expand my reach okay but there's like literally nothing useful on this planet at all it's, it's almost like it's barren i don't know it, it kind of hurts to say this but i'm just gonna leave the storm shorted me on rocket fuel wait okay so i didn't have enough fuel to get here and back What do I do? Because if it won't let me leave, because I haven't seen anything, so how am I about to get Hydrazine on a planet where there's, like, nothing at all? This is this is a nightmare. This is a little... I'm just... Okay, here's my plan, right? I'm going to walk over here, and then I'm going to stop walking until I suffocate all the way to death. Okay, so it just... Okay, it respawns you straight back at the shuttle. I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I literally don't know what to do. I don't have the resources... I literally do not have the resources to progress the game or to leave the planet that I may progress the game that way. I'm really trying not to die again, but I can't, like, I have nothing. I'm stuck on this planet where I can't do anything on this planet, but also can't go to the planet where I can do things. Oh, I'm gonna... Ah! I swear if I find another compound vein... Look at all these. There's one... Uh, is it hydrazine? Oh my gosh, please be hydrazine. Please, no, please, really. I need this. I need this. And I died again, so I have to run. <sighs> See why the game would do me that way. Let's oh, just die to this. Why did it... Why does it have such a high fire rate? <laughs> what, why are they doing more damage than they did before? Okay, okay. What do you mean backpack full? No, backpack not full. There's literally nothing in here. Let me have it, please. No. No. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I just have to like spam click and then the stuff that apparently exists appears. Okay, we're good. I don't care about stupid tethers or anything that's not hydrazine anymore. I want to leave. So at this point, I was in more pain than you could possibly imagine. But I wasn't gonna let that stop me. Now that I was on the home planet, I could simply do research there where I was safe. After all, going to the moon was never required in order to get the research I needed, right? Wrong. You see, shortly after landing, I discovered that the home planet's research was no longer unlocking stuff, but rather it was giving me random resources that didn't really mean much to me. Now, I knew there was more stuff to unlock in the game, as I had only unlocked a few things at this point, so the only explanation was that the game wanted me to leave the planet for research. So I'm gonna try to land in the same spot again, because it had, like, research stuff there. And that's the only reason I would ever care about this planet, believe me. I'm not sentimental about this location. In fact, it's just the opposite, if anything. But yes, now I finally got resin on this planet, and evidently the only way that's humanly possible is by doing it manually. You have to bring your own. And now I get the trade platform, and I'm safe. Finally, I am safe. I can get anything I need now, and I don't have to worry about any bullcrap. Which means the only thing I'm lacking is research, but actually I'm not, because look at this place over here. I mean, dang, that is like all the research I've done and then some. Fuel could just- Oh! Woo! And so here it is, everybody. <clears throat> here it is, everybody. The moment I've been waiting for my entire life. Well, actually, just since I started this video. But it's been a little while. You know, I've been playing for a long time. And I'm just, I really want this thing. All right, so, I mean, I'm assuming I just pressed this and it gives me a single hydrazine. And then I gotta wait for it to charge back. So, you know, in case I didn't make this clear enough already, I've basically... I've basically beat the game at this point. Because I can turn wind and solar energy into like literally any item in the game and so yeah that's basically gonna do it for this one everybody i know this video was a bit of a mess and by a bit of a mess i mean it was entirely a disgusting gross mess and i know i didn't actually unlock everything or anything because that kind of takes a lot of work but if anyone actually cares then tell me in the comments and i guess i can make like a sequel or like redo this but better or something to that effect but my guess is that this video was such a mess that nobody really cares anymore just like i don't care anymore 
And yeah, you know, so goodbye. I'm really tired, so goodbye.